Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We've got an interesting one today. Working on this 2016 Mazda CX-5. Just doing standard rear brake job. How easy is that gravy work, right? So, you know, standard procedure, I thought. <laughs> so, you know, rotors, pads, to... So this, this thing, why I'm making this video is... It has the electric parking brake system, getting more and more common on new cars. To retract the piston, I'm like, well, you know, you screw them in, right? You use this thing, find the right adapter, screw in the piston, good to go. Well, left side seems to work fine. It's not dragging. The right side, after I applied the and released the parking brake, it's locked that's a problem so I'm like well before we go too far get the scanners out let's read the procedure alright caliper installation note clean the exposed area of the piston using a piston uh, available disc brake expander tool push the piston in don't turn it Caution! If the piston is pushed into the caliper while rotating the piston, the caliper internal parts could be damaged. Be careful not to rotate the piston when pushing the piston into the caliper. Oh no! We messed this thing up. And on the right side, one of the pads was basically worn all the way down to the metal, so this piston was way, way out. And I turned it all the way in until I felt you know, resistance against that electric parking brake mechanism. You see the little motor there? and the gear assembly. Now it's not happy. Verify that the piston grooves are at the positions as shown. If the piston grooves are not in the position as shown, rotate the piston clockwise slowly using the SST and adjust the piston grooves to the position shown in the figure. Again, I did not do that. I just rotate it all the way back. Install the caliper. Also it says there's this maintenance mode. When in maintenance mode, the clearance between the disc pad and the disc plate expands. When the maintenance mode is completed, perform the electric parking brake automatic adjustment. With the electric parking brake automatic adjustment, see the electric parking brake motor gear unit operation times longer than normal. So, oh man, this is ridiculous. Let's, let's look at maintenance mode. How do we get into that? Switching to maintenance mode. On the ground, block front wheels. Ignition on. Release the electric parking brake by pushing down on the switch. Release the brake pedal and depress the accelerator pedal all the way down. Pass the kick down switch and hold it down. Push down the electric parking brake switch to continue to hold it down. Push and release the push button. Start three times within five seconds. Verify electric parking brake warning light is illuminated in amber color. Indicate it switched to maintenance mode. Switch the ignition to off, release the accelerator pedal and electric parking brake switch. Oh my, you have to go through all this crap. Wow. Huh. So basically, how, how do we fix this car right now with the right rear wheel locked up? Do we take the wheel back off, mess with the caliper? Or do the automatic adjustment with the parking brake? Let's see how we do the automatic adjustment with the parking brake. So let's back out of here. Parking brake automatic adjustment. How do we do these procedures? Procedures. Forced released procedure, maintenance mode. Caution. If the electronic cannot be released by operating the switch, performing a recovery operation using the ignition switch, due to malfunction of the system to discharge battery, perform a DTC inspection before performing the electronic parking brake forced release, perform the procedure after verifying the malfunction location. Note the clearance between da, 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 is expanded. Okay, move. The electric parking brake motor gear unit. 
Oh, you have to remove that thing? Rotate the spindle approximately two times in the direction of the arrow shown in the figure. This is ridiculous. Rotate the disc plate and verify the electric parking brake has been released. If the electric parking brake has not been released, rotate spindle approximately one time in the same direction. Operate electric parking brake switch using the following procedure. Oh my word. Release the parking brake. Verify electric parking brake indicator. Turn off. <laughs> Man. Oh man. I'm sorry, I just have to rant because what the heck was wrong with the regular old school parking brake? Ah, uh, so we have to charge extra for this thing. I mean, I feel a little guilty that I didn't read the procedure because <laughs> this is like not DIY friendly, is it? So I'm gonna poke around, plug in the scanner, see if we can retract this thing. What a pain in the butt. All right, I got the launch booted up. Let's see here, Mazda. If I only read the instructions. Ignition's on, stupid push button thing, automatically search, 16 pin, yep, so I guess it's reading through everything that it has. So stuff like this really throws a wrench into the spokes, doesn't it? You think it's just a regular brake job, no big deal. It's like, a, I've heard Volkswagens have a, you know, you can't replace the brake pads without a scanner. Well, apparently other manufacturers are starting to go that same, same route. All right, uh, what do we do here now? System scan, let's do health report. No fault code anywhere. So let's go to electronic parking brake. See what we can do. Apparently there's no bi-directional control, just read data stream. Actuator position, well this could be useful. Let's see, select page. Neutral, actuator position left, brake actuator position left released, it's released. So if we push the little button, we're up, applying, it's applied, and then we push it back down with the parking brake iron. And again, It's released, it says it's released. Yeah, it's dragging. That guy's stuck solid. So we have to perform this adjustment. Take the wheels back off and see what we can do. Because we can't do much with the scanner. There's also a maintenance mode. I wonder why you can't just get in there with a scanner. You have to do all this fancy stuff. What did it say about maintenance mode? Maintenance mode is off. So, <clears throat> can we backtrack? Can we 
use the piston tool to back it out, but now it's locked onto the rotor, which is annoying. You can't release it. <laughs> oh, bad feeling about this. Alrighty, here's the stupid gizmo. Mounts right to the back. Two little five millimeter hex bolts. Right here, they came out. Luckily, no damage. Although this thing is starting to rust up a little bit. And here's our little spindle thing. So this is what engages into the motor and gear assembly. So this, I think, is pretty simple. Just two wires, the motor, and this thing can spin either way all day long and it probably feels some resistance and zzz, locks and unlocks. So the, the complicated part is actually in our caliper. So what we want to do is make sure we spin this the right way and hopefully unlock this caliper right here and then do that procedure. We can take the caliper off and see if we should turn the piston itself backwards and then push it in. Um, see what happens. So here it says rotate the spindle clockwise if you're looking from this side of the caliper. So that's going to be, since we're looking from the back, it's going to be counterclockwise. So I'll we'll put a little wrench on here, 8 millimeter, and it says approximately one time in the same direction shown in step two. Let's see. Oh, approximately two times. Okay. Well, let's just do half a turn. So one, I feel some a little gear in there doing something. Okay, it looks to be released. Now, the, cal the uh, actual piston is turning. Okay, that was interesting. What if we go the other way? I want to see how this thing works. So, okay, it is retracting that way. Now it's turning the, the piston. Okay. So, fine. <laughs> now, remember it said put the grooves in that whatever position um, in the brake pad procedure. So, let's duplicate this guy. At least we released our caliper, which is good. I guess we want to see now it slides. We'll push it all the way in. That's good. Back to our parking brake or a pad procedure. Brakes and traction control. It shouldn't be this hard. It really should not be. Disc brake system, brake pad, removal and replacement, rear, so screw maintenance mode, and then pump the brake pedal a few times. Caliper installation note. You just want to push and where's that picture? So right there, groove. The piston grooves are not in the position shown in the figure. Rotate the piston clockwise slowly using the SSC and just the piston grooves position shown in the figure. So the groove should be along the brake pad, which it is. I mean we can go a little bit further, right there. So let's just pop this thing back on, do the parking brake thing, on and off, and see if that helps. We can pump the brake pedal right now, make sure that piston comes out. Okay, good. So 
So the piston came out. Now I'm wondering what will happen if we keep retracting the parking brake. So it's basically it's retracted all the way. So I think that's good. Let's uh, pop our actuator back on. All right, we got the little motor back on. It's plugged in. So right now it's released. Let's see what happens when we push the magic button. Okay, that sounded like it engaged. This should be. That's not locked. Dang, what the heck is going on here? This thing's locked. <sighs> Should be locked in, right? Let's go to our Let's go to our brake again. This is ridiculous. Right actuator. C2005. Clear DTC. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with the right actuator? It's blinking. We, didn't, we just unplugged it with the key off. Did it not like any something? Oh my word. Processing. Please wait. Well? I don't know, what the heck. Alright, so I pulled up on the button. Now it's C112A, actuator disengage. Clear DTC. What's reflash? No. Let's see, reflash. What is that going to do? I'm just going to mess this thing up. It's ridiculous. Definitely disengaged. Let's try again. Okay, engaged. That guy doesn't spin. Okay, now it's definitely engaged. Good. <laughs> Parking brake. Disengaged. Let's try it. See, that one's stuck on now. This one's stuck on now. Oh my gosh, this is really driving me up the wall. Is it disengaged? I don't think so. Okay, this one's tight. This one stuck on. We're not done. So if you have the actuator off and you pull the parking brake button, it tries and tries and tries to lock that actuator. As expected. Let's read the codes again. Read fault code. Come on. I don't know why this thing takes forever. Right. 
right actuator so C2005 and C112A let's see clear DTCs yes okay and now we should be able to Okay. Let's see, I wanna back out of here. Two fault codes. <clears throat> Now that one keeps spinning. Until you get that fall code. Okay. So basically it's kind of a dumb system. I think it just forces the motors to turn until it sees a rising current and then it's like, ah, we're locked. And then unlock is just a preset number of turns back. So, to reset the system, seems like turn that little, you know, spindle backwards, almost as far as it'll go, and then it should automatically go, bzzz, you know, engage, and then disengage a certain number of turns. I think that's the way it works. It shouldn't be this complicated. All right, well, I think we're back in business. No DTCs. You pull up on the lever. You sound good. This wheel blocked this wheel also blocked step on the brake disengage seems happy this wheel good this wheel good oh freaking luya so if you run into this Electronic parking brakes, watch out, read the procedure, try to follow the procedure. You'll still need a scanner probably, <laughs> just in case you run into any of this, these issues, but at least they kind of give you a step-by-step -step of here's how to reset the system. You gotta manually turn that little knob because the, the actuator module itself is, I don't know, honestly, this should be done all by, you know, from the scanner you should be able to retract it all the way and then apply it normally. You shouldn't have to take off the actuator and spin the little thingy by hand. But anyways, hey, new cars. I guess they'll, uh, it's like job security for the, for the guys with the scanners. So thanks a lot for watching and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.